Ah, oh, shit. Y'all know when you see this logo right here, you know what time it is. Classic 80s movie all the way. Uh, Orion or Orion? The Guardian of Masculinity. I don't know what the fuck that means exactly, but he's brand new to the forest and he's already talking shit. Why the fuck did they play this music in the intro? I feel like square dancing. Robert Duvall. Good ass actor, man. Cool. 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 Maria Cochita Alonso. What happened to her, man? She used to be in everything back in the day. She was in uh, Running Man, Predator 2. Man, Paisalandia. Look at that shit. Paisas everywhere. Music by Herbie Hancock. What the fuck? That's a real person? I remember hearing about him on uh, uh, Tommy Boy. Story by Michelle Pfeiffer? No, nah, hell no. No way. Not that Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, Michael Schiffer. Okay. Directed by Dennis Hopper. I wonder if he started as an actor and then director or director and then actor. Y'all know how it goes, man. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. Hey, Rocky, a.k.a. Don Cheadle. That guy got acting range. Like, you believe he's really a, a, a gangbanger in this movie. Hey, look at uh, Damon Wayans and that guy right there next to him. I think he came out and above the rim. This movie gave a lot of uh, actors a start, man. I think uh, Mario Lopez is in this. His first acting role, I think. You know, a lot of hood movies do that. They're just standing there talking about their taxes. Hey, blood. Bam. Oh, shit. Here goes that song, that famous song. I am my nightmare. Just multiply. Like so many uh, cities, man, states around the country got turned out by this movie. It made it to where somebody from LA went somewhere out of state, man, they worshiped them because because of movies like this. Made them famous, made them uh, national, you know? Shit, even, uh, even cities around California. When the Bloods and Crips went out there, they turned them out quick, except for Oakland and the Bay Area. There ain't no black Bloods and Crips out there. They don't get down like that. They tried it, there's a video. I made a video about uh, when Crips tried to uh, take over San Francisco. They got ran out, man. There's a video somewhere, like my, my third most popular, I think, or some shit. You can check it out. But everywhere else, Little Rock, New York, I mean, everywhere, man, turned out. See, people, a lot of people don't know that that word home, it, it was uh, considered black slang at first. And then the Mexicans took it over, and then the blacks uh, made it homie instead of home. That graffiti in the background says Broadway Gangster. That's where uh, this rapper named G, G Perico is from. He has the Jerry Crow and everything. It was like a real uh, crip gangbanger from the 80s. Clarence Brown sounds fake as hell. Code four, everything under control. Cause he's alive. He really asked him, why is your heart beating for? Cancel Christmas. I like the story he says about the, uh, the, the dad bull and the son bull. You heard the one about the two bulls? There you go. When did these kids drop their shoes, look. Ah, I don't know why that was funny, but. Look at the white boy. <laughs> Who threw it? Who threw it? What do you think, man? The little motherfucker on, on the tree. Motherfucker. I don't know about this younger generation, homie. Shit, that's how we feel. If he feels like that about that generation, imagine this one. Oh, this is a cold ass part. Shooting up a funeral, man. What the fuck? I got a video that I made on my channel somewhere about a, a shootout at a, at, a, at a burial at the funeral site where they were burying two rival gang members at the same time, like a yard apart. And it's some real life shit. I knew that uh, one of the guys that was getting buried. You could go ahead and check it out, look for it. It's probably my, one of my popular ones. I always thought it was funny that when they start shooting, the preacher is like, get down. Bam. There you go, look. It's a clean ass car right there, man. You know, fuck it up though. Uh, you know one thing I don't understand about LA is that there's a lot of traffic. Why is there a lot of uh, high speed chases? You would think as soon as they try to uh, hit the freeway, bam, they get stuck in traffic. But hell no, he's smashing through there. That motherfucker fell on his ass. You saw that? And Sean Payne doing his own driving. Oh shit! That's your ass. Fucked up that cool little car, man. Frog. He looks like a frog too. Kill his ass. I'm not talking all that shit. That motherfucker talking shit for real. Just, man. Trying to act all ladylike and shit. Knowing damn well she's the opposite. Well, that was fast. 
Why is he screaming, man? PCP, man, at work. Well, supposedly there's like a, a movie mistake in this part. Pac-Man sprays that guy in the face, that kid in the face. And the next scene after that, he got way more spray paint on his face than he did at first. That's a famous mural right there. Been in a lot of movies in the 80s and 90s. I think it was in uh, Blood In, Blood Out and uh, Falling Down. Fucked up. Yeah, he does have a little more paint on that shot than the one before. God damn, how much cocaine did he give him? Like a kilo or some shit. <laughs> he said, I got handcuffs on you. Whoa. A gangster in a cop uniform. There's a million of them. The fuck your fat ass gonna do? Hey, look, somebody crossed out the C on Carnitas. That game banging for real. Hey, Holmes, I'm a visitor, man. Oh, now you're a guest. Now you're a guest. This clown's got 15 outstanding tickets. Hey, Holmes, I was gonna pay you. That's what they all say. Yeah, well, you're a little late for now. Want me to raise your bail, man? Nah, I got Why would he want to his bail raised? Higher amount, what the fuck? Oh, shit. They found him. Fuck, <laughs> damn. Come back! Whoever in charge of, of the score of this movie did a terrible job. God damn. I hope they paid that stuntman well. Is it give it up, Bato? He ain't Mexican. <laughs> As soon as the cuffs were on, he started punching him. Damn. That's a buff ass crit. I mean, uh, blood. Picked him up like it ain't shit. A blood, dripping blood. Look at that, all that blood. So, would this movie be considered a, a cop drama? A cop movie? Or uh, a hood movie? Look at Damon Wayans, man. Instead of gangbanging, he's over here dancing with a bunny. Oh, I left him hanging. Motherfucker has one in his ear. So, what, is he like a black Mexican or Puerto Rican or something? Fucking solo dancing like a soul train. That is a quiet ass engine. You can hear the cricket. God damn. My Irish cholo is all fucked up. Did anybody get hit? No. Anyone hurt? No. What the fuck? Are they in school? Too many cervezas, homes. Too many cervezas, homes. Oh, shit. The real scan comes out. What the fuck did I stick my dick in? It was an ambulance, man. He's on his way to get tested. That's right, Irishman. I had a slide. That's Nivaño. He did something very difficult. He joined the gang. He fucked up. He joined the gang. Oh, shit. Here's what Mario Lopez pops out. There's the Mario Lopez with the hat backwards. On the right. Bang. Two one, huh? Two one, eh? There you go right there, look. Oh man, he looks scared as fuck. Look at that. <laughs> Could you imagine when his agent called him and said, man, I got a movie role for you. A lot of gangbangers. You're gonna be you're gonna be right in the middle of the hood. Your yeah, Uber driver's here. <laughs> look at Mario Lopez with a big ass AK. Oh, all of a sudden he's a leader. Why do they keep coming out of the house? That's some fucking dumbass. No, oh, that's a crazy ass rocket. No, oh, this part is crazy right here. They just light each other up. Boom. Damn. All those guns, zero vests. 
Didn't that hill come out and blood in, blood out? Motherfucker break dancing after murdering someone. Look at, look at the Irish lad. Knows how to play the guitar pretty well. That guy looks like every cholo you see in t-shirts. He said, what do you want? <laughs> Damn, that hard just. Look at the chick twitch. Oh, you saw that? Why the fuck didn't he have a vest on? Okay, that looks like ketchup. I heard that um, in battlefields, in war, or in a lot of situations like that, a lot of men call out for their mom. Just like uh, George Floyd did. Right here, he's calling for his wife. I guess he didn't get along with his mom or something, but kind of the same thing. The budget on this movie was six million dollars. That's a whole lot. Even back then. Especially back then. Opening weekend made four million. The gross and end worldwide was 46 million bucks. He made his money back. Cool. Cool. Ooh. Alright. Two hour long movie. Um yeah, from one to ten I give it a an eight. I like it, but there's better hood movies out there. If it's considered a hood movie. Or a cop movie, I don't know. Like uh, Training Day. I don't know if that's a hood movie or a cop movie. Yeah, the reason why I get, I don't give it a 10 is because the music is all fucked up. The biggest mistake. Uh, Harvey Hancock, that's the guy who made the, who was in charge of the score, the, the music. Why the fuck did they fire him? I mean, why did they hire him, man? This guy's terrible. Because in the 80s, they used these, uh, this, um, this synthetic, I mean, uh, synthesized, uh music old school like music from from movies that worked to build up tension these, these motherfuckers use country music some twangy ass shit that was bad but the acting man come on top notch both of those guys are good as hell even the uh the ones who who played gang members played it really well too because a lot of them aren't i mean some of them were you can tell but some some weren't and then they still play the roles real, real well yeah so that's it for this video as always stay safe out there y'all catch you on the next one make sure to subscribe